developing tonight. Invasive zebra mussels found in Georgia waters. Now an urgent warning for boaters to be on the lookout and be prepared to pay up. Tori Cooper is in Marietta tonight explaining how they got here and how they could harm the things that you care about the most. They thrive in aquatic environments just like this for the size of this quarter, but the damage they leave behind costs a lot more. Unlike most zebras, these prefer to live in water. Zebra mussels are an invasive species. Zebra mussels are native to Eastern Europe, but experts including Marcy Goman of Premier Aquatics in Marietta say in recent weeks, the mussels have been caught spreading their larva through different waterways here in the U.S. And if they establish themselves here as permanent residents, they can cause millions of dollars in damages. Their larva can infiltrate water treatment plants. Um, they can clog up pipes, that type of thing. They're, they're bad for docks and boats. She says they can even destroy an entire ecosystem and undermine the existing freshwater mussels here at home. These right here are freshwater mussels. In fact, the Georgia Department of Natural Resources says zebra mussels are already popping up. A boater at Lake Lanier recently spotted them and reported it right away to have them removed. And if you see one, remove it from the water, kill it. But the DNR and Goman say these zebras even found their way into local pet shops in the form of moss balls, commonly used as moss to decorate your aquarium. Goman says the zebras spread their larvae onto moss balls at a production facility and started making their way across the country when they were shipped to local pet stores. There is currently a ban on the moss ball products and where if you look around we don't have a single one in this store. Now if you take a walk around their store you'll see managers have posted warning signs about the zebras to help keep our environment safe. Reporting in Marietta, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.